ain't that girl. <laughs> Watch your tail. You get your tail bit off. Alright, Amy and Pushy. You're gonna go back in. She's just being a pain. All right, I'm just gonna ignore you. We're gonna get Big Mac everything. Big Mac. Let me go. Big Mac. Nope, nothing for you. Can't die, girl. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. He has a hard time. They're kind of on the deeper end. Move over here. Big Mac. Come here. Big Mac. Big Mac. Come on, buddy. Here, I'm going to go on that side. Good. You line it up for him a little easier. And it's going to definitely make her want to come follow. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. There you go. And there she goes too. Sliding in. Big Mac. Big Mac. He's like, this is my food time. Big Mac. Come here. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. He's still very much focused on her. Big Mac. There you go. Come here. Bella. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. No, come this way. Big Mac. Big Mac. There it is. Oh. He's so pushy with her. Alright. Bella. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. Can you come over here? Big Mac. Bella. Bella. Hey, you want to come over here and get some like close-ups of them? Hey, man. Fellas. Big man. Fellas. Big Mac. He's also targeting my hand up here on the stick instead of my hand that's actually trying to get his attention. So that's just something takes time.
Bella. Big man. Big man. Big man. Big man. Bella. Oof. Stop trying to bite her. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. You gotta hold it, buddy. There you go. He really seems to, I don't wanna say chew, cause he's not chewing, he's not using his teeth, but he's really manipulating the food a lot with his tongue inside the mouth before swallowing. Meanwhile, she's down the hatch and going. Oh, stop trying to bite. Big Mac. Bella. Big Mac. So he's also trying to bite my hand more now than before. And uh, so what we want him to do is what she's doing. She's actually doing great right now. Even though she's the one that's typically really pushy, she's doing exactly what I want right now, which is to sit still with her mouth open and wait for the food. And I'm still signaling her either way, but she's doing really good. But he has started to shift from that to more targeting my hand when I move and doing like quick motions up to try to bite my hand instead of like taking this as a signal that you're gonna get food. Big Mac. So that's why that little pause right there to wait for him to stop moving and then give the food instead of giving the food on the swing up. Bella. Lots of mosquitoes. Big Mac. There you go. Bella. Very good. Oh, you mean look at you. You're getting nicer. Yeah. No. Don't bite. It's trying to calm down some. Julie! Oh my goodness. Oh, good pig. Good sitting. You sit, Daisy? Good, Daisy. Good doing you. There we go. There you go, Daisy. Go, go, Daisy. I just called you Daisy, didn't I? Julie, the big pig. Oh, there's big pig. The petunia's still chewing. You guys don't chew, you just inhale. Ready for more tuna? You gotta eat it. It's all over the ground. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Petunia. There you go. Oh, Julie. Good girl, you sitting. Go, Peggy. So they don't even chew, like, at all. Petunia sits here and chews, like, 50 times. These two just inhale the food. No chewing.
Thank you, Kurt. Junior. No, oh my god, you're still chewing. Daisy. Good girl, Daisy. Who's climbing me? Why are you climbing me, Kit Kat? Easy. You're gonna kick me right in the crotch again. Here's our little piggies. Got Wilbur on the end. This is usually his spot. And we got Puddles. And we got Molly. And we got Amy Swinehouse. Hey, Wilbur's the cutest. Here are the quaddies and their lockouts chowing down. They look nice and happy. So while they're eating, we'll go ahead and feed the other animals and clean and then let them out. There you go. So these are the Patagonia and Mara. They're getting some, oh, there's Timothy gonna pull. So they're gonna get some romaine lettuce, some peach, and their favorite thing in the world are their pellets. That's pretty much all they really care about. Nope. Sometimes they'll let me pet them, but usually just on the forehead is the only acceptable place. Hazel. You know, I would say, why do you do this? But like, really, why does she do that? Because there's no reward for it. Like, I don't know what her obsession is with that. She doesn't get anything by doing it. Oh, you two. Just screaming in each other's faces. Hazel. Good girl. I didn't know if she would eat this. There you go. Well, kind of. Come here. Just as freeze dried, I think duck. But uh, I didn't know if she would go for the freeze dried meat. Usually it's just the raw bloody stuff that she'll actually eat out of my hand. There you go. Well, oh, that's pretty good. And then uh, Shippo's up there enjoying his food. Let me go, Kira. Kira's always a good girl. She'll eat anything. Come here. There's little dude, the African crested porcupine. So he's enjoying some cantaloupe. 
He's got a cantaloupe, sweet potato, some romaine lettuce, his leaf eater biscuit, rodent block, and some other kind of root vegetable thing. I don't remember what it's called. Petri. 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 Hi, Jelly Bean. Got some dragon fruit for you, some cantaloupe, and I think what is that, a plum? Some good stuff for you. I'm happy to can. Just happy to can. Here, you're gonna try a bite. You mean nice? Yeah, eat that dragon fruit. No fingers. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, they are so happy about monkey biscuits. You want monkey biscuit, Cheeky? There you go. Oh, there you go, Cheeky. There you go, Cheeky. They're so cute when they eat them. Like a big old loaf of bread. <laughs> Eagle bears. There's Coco, Harvey, and Cheeky. <laughs> Cheeky's like, no. And then Poppy's inside, still, you know, um, I say this every video because I know Poppy is the favorite prairie dog, but, um, yeah, so Poppy's inside getting his meds, so he has to get meds twice a day, uh, for his little weird infection he gets around his butt, so, yeah, I gotta have him in there being treated, but hopefully he'll be back out here soon with everybody. I know he's, they miss him and he misses them, they're very social little critters. Look at this burrow, though, that's crazy. You've been working hard, huh? A hard working prairie dog. We're in the small turkey aviary now, so we just got them all fresh food and water. They're so stinking cute. And they're such cute little birds. Hi, what are you guys doing? And then just got all these eggs from the coil. We'll go ahead and Feed those to uh, probably the monitor. He likes them. It's like a little piece of candy for him. Yeah, it's like a little gumball for him. <laughs> mm, I think he had some of the palm from in his mouth. He didn't like it. There you go. Down the hatch. So here are the baby Galapagos tortoises. So they're actually a personal animal of ours. They're not a rescue, but uh, we love them. And I know people like to see them because they are the largest tortoise species in the world. So they are chowing down on some grassland tortoise pellets right here that have been uh, watered and wet for them to be soft. But they're just little babies. They're gonna grow to be gigantic. Just got a bunch of redfoot uh, well, tortoise chow for the redfoots, and of course, this one wants to sit in the middle of the bowl to eat out of the other bowl. That's just, that's how the tortoises are. You give them a bowl of food, they will literally sit in the middle of the bowl and then eat what's on the edges or do this. It is such a tortoise kind of thing to do. All right, guys, so I have a whole stack of thank you notes from our Amazon wish list that I have been neglecting. So we really need to read these off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it, <laughs> okay? So I've got like, I don't even know how many of them. Uh, first of all, I'll say thank you to everybody who does get things off our Amazon wish list because I definitely lost some of these. So this is not everybody, uh, but we really, really appreciate it. And obviously we also really appreciate anybody who does make a donation to the nonprofit. Um, so we really, really appreciate you guys and all the help and support that we get from the community. And it's just, it is a beautiful, amazing thing that we have created this sanctuary and we have enough people that want to help out and that we're able to actually get enough significant support to now like actually pay for enclosures through the nonprofit, through our supporters and through donations. And that's just incredible. You know, like I was anticipating just having to pay for everything on my own, okay? <laughs> which is not fun, especially we're out here in the middle of nowhere, you know? So this is super, super helpful. Um, but yeah, so we have a bunch of these thank you notes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start reading them off. So this one is from Cindy Lewis. Thank you. 
uh, Hazel De Lorenzo, thank you. Heather Zur, thank you. Uh, Jennifer Lewis, thank you. This one says, keep up the great work, Chris and Gabby. Thank you for all that you do from uh, Blanche Christerson, thank you. Uh, this one's from Esther, thank you. This one says, it's wonderful what you're doing. Thank you from Blanche Christerson, thank you. Uh, this one is from Asa Beer. I'm not sure, I'm so sorry. I'm really bad at pronouncing things. So I, sorry if I slaughter your name. Um, and then this one is also from Asa uh, Pierre Perry, I'm not sure. Uh, this one says, your videos are a highlight in our day. We are so excited to see your dream come through and live vicariously through you. Much love, Senshin from Senshin Blomkvist. So thank you so much. That's also really sweet. And I mean, that's literally what I was just saying. Like, this is so amazing to have this dream come true and to have people who want to help and support it. Uh, this one says, hope this helps from Beverly uh, Mass from Lisa D. Jones. This one says, you're doing such great work from MS. Uh, this one is from Hazel De Lorenzo. Hazel De Lorenzo. Hazel De Lorenzo. Hazel is a superstar. She's obviously gotten a ton of stuff for us, so we're super thankful for that. Uh, this one says, I love watching you both on Instagram, and it's beautiful what y'all are doing for these animals. I wish I could do more from Caroline. So thank you, Caroline. Uh, this one says, thank you for all you guys do for these rescued critters, especially the alligators from Bernadine and Carol Adams, or Carl Adams. Thank you. Uh, this one's Hazel DiLorenzo, Hazel DiLorenzo again. So thank you so much to Hazel again. Uh, this one is, uh, thank you for helping these critters from Bernadine and Carl Adams. Uh, this one is a little washed out, but it says, Chris and Gabby, I truly appreciate you guys are amazing. Mad respect from Ron Croce. So thank you, Ron. Um, love what you do. Hope the animals enjoy the gift from Christy L. Bacchus. Thank you. This one is from Tracy Goodrich, Heidi Ashby, Robert Vandewalker. This one says, thank you for all you're doing. Chris and Gabby from Alan B. McDonald. Thank you. This one's Annie Meduzia. Thank you. Uh, thanks for all you guys do from, this one got cut off, uh, Annie Meduzia. Yeah, same person. Um, do the alligators play with toys from Hungry Dog Design and Wolfpack? Not in my experience. Some people claim that they do play with toys. I've been in this uh, work for 20 years. I have never seen them, what I would consider to be play with toys. Uh, they will manipulate objects in their environment. And if you put a novel object in there, they will investigate whether or not it's food. And so they will play with it until they figure out it's not food. And then they don't touch it again, you know? so. My take on that is it's just investigating whether or not it is edible. Once it's determined non-edible, there's no further play with the object. Meanwhile, your dog knows a toy is not edible and still plays with the toy knowing it's not edible. So that's what makes me think they don't play with toys, but they will investigate novel objects to see if they are edible, if that makes sense. Um, this one is from Tammy Denny, thank you. Another one from Tammy, thank you. Another one from Tammy, thank you. Uh, and then this one, thanks uh, for you, the excellent videos and the hard work you both do. Take this card and treat yourself. You deserve it from Tammy Denny. Thank you, Tammy. And here's uh, Bella is coming up to investigate. We'll see. You're going to be nice. Stay back there. Okay, uh, so this one is from Christina Howell. Thank you. Big fan of the page and sanctuary. Enjoy from Jack Z. Thank you. Uh, enjoy your gift from Bernadine and Carl Adams again. Thank you. Uh, this one says, my daughter and I love watching your vlogs. Thank you both so much for all you can do for all you do for animals from Christy and Kara uh, Ivano Ivanovich. Sorry, trying to pronounce that one right. Thank you. Um, hey, Chris and Gabby, I thought this might help with covering the gator eyes more quickly and easily. Dino, I'm pulling for you. Chris and Gabby, you are the best. Thank you for your ginormous hearts from Heidi Ashby. So thank you, Heidi. Um, this one says, in memory of seven and to help in some small way. Oh, and give Poppy a scratch or two from me from Vicky Schutz. Thank you so much, Vicky. And yeah, we, we do miss seven too. Uh, this one is from uh, Mindy... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. It's C-Z-E-R-W. 
So thank you, Mindy. Uh, this one is from Jennifer Chavez. Thank you. Uh, this one says, thank you for all you do for the animals. My son and I watch your kindness and compassion through your videos and you're a big role model for my eight-year-old son who wants to be a veterinarian in the future from Jennifer Chavez. Oh, that's super sweet. We'll tell him uh, I said hi and thank you guys so much. And this one is from Laurel uh, Guion. Thank you. This one is Heather Zur. Thank you. This one is from Mindy again. Thank you. Here's one from Sonia Zada. Thank you. This one uh, with love from Esther and Jim in Naples. Thank you. Chris and Gabby, thanks uh, for all you do to support these special animals from Stephen Cockburn. And then this one, last one from Heather Zur. So thank you so much to everybody. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Sorry it took me so long to get to all these and then we just knock them all out like 50 at a time, but I'll try to do a better job of trying to read them off as we get them and splitting them up a little bit better. But thank you so much to everybody. Thank you to Bella. There you go. She appreciates you guys too, so thank you. There you go, Chad. Oh, he's skeptical. It's duck instead of rabbit. He's sniffing it. Oh, he took a bite. There we go, good boy. You're such a picky little thing. Bam. Bam's out there growling. So she's targeting the bugs mainly. That's her favorite. Oh, she got a nice fig. <laughs> 